It is a welterweight matchup between Bruce Lee and Rafael Dos Anjos. Well, he's one of the most accomplished Brazilians to ever touch down on this UFC canvas. The former UFC lightweight champion, Rafael Dos Anjos, now a welterweight and a damn good one at that. John, in the fight against Anthony Pettis, in which he won that belt, was truly the greatest performance I've ever seen a challenger have in a UFC title fight. He went at Pettis like this was my opportunity, and there is no way I'm going to let this slip by me. The pressure that he put on Anthony for 25 minutes was something I had never seen him do before, and he's continued that even as he's gone up a weight class as he's shown in the Kevin Lee fight. One of the hardest workers in the sport and still getting it done in a UFC career that's coming up on 15 years. The man affectionately known as RDA, back on the proving ground team. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Four years apart with similar height and reach. And now with the Ladies official introduction, here is, is Bruce Buck. The main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 30 wins, 13 losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Rafael Dos Anjos. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Sanjos not having it. And they separate. Dos Anjos gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Right hand upstairs. And both guys really throwing with authority. Dig and kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. 
Nice punch lands over the top. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Another strike to the head lands. Trying to go for the single leg takedown. Doesn't get it. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has the knowledge of using it like no one else. Big kick. to these big leg kicks. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that... Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. So as we pull up some numbers here, we get 59 total strikes have now landed for Rafael Dos Anjos. Under a minute now to go. Single collar tie. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, he's so educated, he's so able to fight. Go fight the stage. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Yeah. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice sprawl there as he stuffs another takedown. So that was a big priority coming in, and the takedown defense has absolutely held up. Yeah, he's done a fantastic job of understanding the threat of the takedown. He's recognized it, he's defended it before it's even gotten started. Just out of range with that right hook. Big punch land. And they separate. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, big knee. Right hand hurt him a little Back bit. Back and forth we go here. Dos Anjos' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Six. Well, his corner was 
pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Big kick lands. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. another shot like that. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round might be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh, he's out. Oh, my goodness. What a performance. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 42 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by Roosh, the Dragon Lee!